Hey, welcome to this new video. Today we'll be heading into downporting and we will just go over the different tools you will need to get started with downporting uh, or retroporting you could call it. So downporting and retroporting is to get other creatures from the higher expansions and so higher, higher expansion creatures, uh, mounts, items such as weapons, uh, armor pieces even and sounds and even loading screens so today we'll just go over the tools you will need in general and then the next tutorial we will or the next video we will go over how to downport a simple weapon from the war within expansion so let's first get started here the first thing and before i start here i'll have a link in the description to all of these tools and you'll be able to download them all and just go uh, go install them so they are ready for you so today i'll just show you how these tools work some i can't show you because i need stuff for them but i will open them so you can see them so right now to start we would want to uh, start with these these are essential for wow modding so the MPQ editor looks like this. What you need to do with this one is if you say open uh, MPQs, you can see I'm inside my server client. So this is just my client I'm using. You can see here. So in the data folder, you will always have these. These are MPQ patch folders. So if I wanted to look inside one of these, I will open it. And now it's like a normal folder. And here we can see something like the items, then object components and weapons. Here we have all the models for these. So we have all the models like the X two hand uh, ice crown raid model. And this is how you normally would find stuff inside the core files for WoW 3.3.5 like this is just items we can even go into the uh, environment and then log in here and you will see a bunch of other things like the night clouds for Ru ruby centrum and you can see the sky model here for it and even if we go into other so you could basically go over all of these and if you want to look into some other things you could go into the uh what is called language uh, version of yours and you can open these and find a bunch of stuff in here so let's open for an example let's open the base one and here you can see all the data for wow so all the data for like the real if you downloaded it from blessed if we close this and open up here again we'll be able to see something like the local or the patch here and here we can see the dbc files which we'll look at in a second here but there are so many things you can even find like the interface and then glues here you can find the login screen the buttons the character selection ui and everything so i want that that's what i want to show you with this it's an extremely important tool for wow modding Let's move on to the WDBX editor. This is also extremely important. This tool is able to open your, um, your DBC files. So what you would do with DBC files is basically add new weapons, add, um, add new creatures, mounts, basically everything you would need to mod so it works with the client too. That would be here. So let me just go into my own custom patch here just to find the ones here. So what we would, let's say we wanted to look inside like, um, let's look inside something like the loading screens one. And then it will pop up here and you'll select your version and click load. And now you have loaded your DBC. This will then show you, for, for me, this is the login screens. Um, now you can see like Kalimdor, Azeroth 
And here you can see the path inside those patches we just checked. You can see the path for finding this loading screen and you always need to keep this path the same because this is how WoW loads stuff. So you can't just like, I'll copy this real quick, but you can't just go in here and say you don't want it located in this. And you can't do this, because then either it will give you a green box for it not uh, being found, or you will end up crashing your game. So, just make sure that you always, when you do custom stuff, you always put them in the correct folder structure. And now... That's basically all for that. Uh, this a BLP lab is not something we'll go over right now because it's not really needed other than when you re retro port icons from different weapons and such. Next, we'll go into a really important tool for downporting. So, WoW export is a great tool. So you open it up here. Now, you can, if you have Retail WoW installed, you can find it on your local installation, which is faster. But if you don't, you can use the Blizzard CDN. So, you can click here, and we want to go for the PTR2. This is just my own choice. Like, you can choose the one, the Retail Normal version, released one, or the PTR1. This is just because I want to look inside the PTR2. You click that one, then it takes a little time because it's loading everything here from the internet. Where if you had the local install, it will load it from the disk and it will be so much faster. But right now it's loading here. So let's give it a second. Oh, it's slowly done here. Now we are inside WoW Export. What we can do here is that we can basically find all the models if we want and all the characters so here you can see the races and we can take on like let's say let's say a, a mecha gnome and then you now can watch how they look in here you can give them the different hair and stuff and you could actually actually downport this model into wow if you really want it you can even take the orc normal orcs here and if they had some different hair you would like to retroport you would be able to do that but what i think most people are here for is actually for the weapons and stuff so let's go into items there's tabs up here when it's not loading Right now it's loading all the data for the items, materials and relationships. Now we are here. So now let's disable all of these. This is just to search. So now let's go down and click we want to watch for the two hands. So now this is all the two handed weapons in whole, the whole game up to um, the newest expansion and then the PTR. And they are always located from like the top is retail and you can go down and then down to the button is the button. Button is the latest expansion things. So let's look at a, a, a weapon quickly. So let's take like this. Then you can click the options if you would like. You can see related mod models, related textures. And you can even open it here via, uh, on Wowhead. But let's just click in here, options and view model. Now we can look at the model here. And yeah, it will look kind of funny here because we are previewing it. But when you put it in game, it would actually look correct. So if we like say remove go into items again and we see if i can find it down here so i can show you yeah here it is so if i click on here and then wow here it will open on my other screen so now we will see here if this is even a good one to look at maybe it is um 
So yeah, view in 3D. So now you can see how it will look in game when we uh, retroport it correctly. So this is how it will look in game when it's retroported correctly. And if you wanted to go under, you can go under models here and you can actually find the loading screens here. So let's see, like you can write interface and then you can find the buttons and everything you would like here. And you can downport these two. And there are also textures like eyes and everything here you can look for if you want. So, and audio is here too. And you can actually preview the sound here. Now, let's uh, shut down WoW export. And let's look into the next tools. So, Multiconvert is a program because when you download, like when you export here with WoW export, when you export models, you need to convert them from that expansion into um, the Wrath of the Lich King client so they can work inside that. And this is here where we would drag in and then it will open up here and you will click the fix button and it will fix it for you. Not much to really say about this tool, but this is an uh, like a extremely and necessary tool to actually do the retro problem. This fixed TXID, what you would normally do here is that you would normally you would drag in. Let me see if I can find one here. Let me just like do a duplicate of this model. So here you would drag this model. This is the model file in on here. And yeah, I guess maybe I can't do this because yeah, I think I can't. Yeah, I already did this one. So let me see here. Let me real quick open up WoW export once again. And then let me export a model just to show you how it works and how it looks when it's running. But while this loads, we can go further into other things here. So uh, your fix particles and ribbons, this is actually pretty fast to show you. So when you click on it, it will open up here and you will click select folder. And here you can see it fixes the particles in all of these files because it found all of these files in this uh, in the root directory so it fixed the particles uh, if you don't fix the particles it will still work in your game but it will look um, messed up because the particles need to be fixed for it to look closest to how it would on the retail servers and another thing is that Things like small details, like uh, like cloth moving around when you are using an item, that won't work in 3.3.5 because the 3.3.5 client can't uh, can't do all of those. The workaround is to use a uh, use a spell, uh, uh, create a spell that does the movement for you on those things. And let us see here. Wow, it's finally done. Let's go to items. And while it loads here, I will minimize again. Uh, the the zero point, uh, zero 010 editor is a hex editor, which you would normally uh, use here. What you want to do right now, I have this one open so um yes. so here i have this one open and this is we're just gonna look at how this uh tool looks and stuff for today we are using a special template someone made called m2 which makes it so we can load and see all of these without finding them inside here first so we can see the version is wrath of the lich king and we can see a bunch of details here. 
don't don't worry we'll go over these in other videos later down the line but down here you will see stuff like textures which textures is applied and we will go over how to hard code these textures in and it might sound um how could you say it extremely overwhelming to hard code stuff into hex but it's actually pretty easy so we will go over that in another video when we need it you don't always need to use this program but when you do it's perfect for the hex edits so now let's go back into wow export okay so i found this shield or weapon or what we would call it now we click on the export m2 and you see successfully exported and it exported the weapon so let's view an exp uh, explorer and now we can drag this m2 file in on the fx tx id and now you see here it says the tx id zero yeah 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 that's correct and here we would actually need to manually go in to a 010 editor and hot code this texture in because it's not here but that's uh, not something we will go over today that will be something we will go over when we get to exporting these models and downporting them and now you can just click close so that was basically everything for me today i just uh, wanted to show how these tools work and look so you are ready and can we can go into actually doing some downporting and first we'll start with a real simple weapon without any uh, hard coding of the textures just so we can see how that works and next we will go into hard coding a texture so thank you a lot for watching. Please come check us out at Discord. You can find the Discord below in the description. See you in the next one.